Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk to you guys about my rule number one in life. I've, I've talked about it once before, but I, I feel like I'm a, a broken record. It goes on and on and on. Um, it, it is absolutely essential that you guys understand this one concept. Is that my rule number one in life is that people buy into what they relate to. That's it. It's a very complex thing though. It's not exactly what you think it is. And maybe some of it is. You see, the thing is, is people buy into something, whether it's a product, whether it's a service, whether it's a company, whether it's a idea. If it doesn't relate to them, they don't buy into it. Think about your favorite movies. You don't buy into a movie. If the characters are unrelatable, you have to relate to something in order for you to be part of it. Or for you to take it seriously. As a biomed, it's our job to establish some sort of rapport with our customers so that we are now part of their team. They're not part of our team. We're part of theirs. We're an instrument, a construct that helps them achieve their goal. And that's why we have to establish that rapport. And that's why customer service is absolutely essential. Is that we have to be on their team so that they buy into us. And how do you do that? Well, for us, it's simply the fact that you should show up, tell them your name, introduce yourself. It's key communication that goes all the way back. I mean, everybody should know this kind of stuff, but it, it's not true. Okay. A lot of people break these rules. You have to introduce yourself. You have to be relatable. You have to be empathetic. I don't use that word very often, but it's true. You have to sympathize with people's problems and the fact that this is their complication and that you're just there trying to help them. If you're in sales, this should be a huge, huge factor for you. How do people relate to you if you're doing sales? Well, if you're boots pound on the ground type of sales, the only way for you to be relatable is for you to have a long-term rapport with your customers. That means you have to go there in person, introduce yourself, usually the first time, or if you're pounding phones, at least call them every once in a while and ask them, how are you doing? What's been going on with you lately? You have to have that relationship. If you don't have that relationship, they're not going to use you or your service because how do they trust you from anybody else? And when we're talking about that, that's one of the major factors why I'm telling people that video and, and I'm trying to get the Better Biomed Project into doing video uh, advertisements. And that's because I can bring personality to your company or to your product. And the personality is yours. It's your culture, it's your personality. People just have to see it. And nothing is more relatable than video. Print ads do not do that. You cannot relate to a print ad. And furthermore, print ads, you can't even, you can't even you know, give a demographic of who's seen it, how many people seen it, nobody knows. But with video, you can tell what gender, what country, what time they viewed it. You can tell all that from a vid from a video. I have access to all that. Google's just fantastic for that. It's just one of those things, guys. Rule number one in life: be relatable. And that's that's as simple as it is. So people buy into what they relate to, and that is all walks of life, every aspect of your life for the rest of your life. I want you to think about that. If you're trying to achieve some sort of goal, if you're trying to uh, get in with a certain type of crowd, if you're trying to get some sort of business goal, the only way that you're ever going to get there is to be relatable. And how do you do that? Think about that. Because if you're not relatable, if your advertising campaign's not relatable, if your biomeds that are out there pounding cement, doing work in people's sections of medical treatment centers, if they're not relatable, if they don't introduce themselves, just the little things, nobody's going to buy into it. All right. And if they don't buy into it, you're expendable. And if you're expendable, you're expendable, unfortunately. So guys, think about that. Rule number one in life, people buy into what they relate to. I'm going to be giving a series of lectures probably in 2024 about these kind of concepts. 
and how you can get people on your side to help you with your goals by you being relatable and helping them with their goals. Think about it, guys. Thanks for watching.